Baby, one thing about the internet, they're going to pull receipts. Yikes. Godfrey. Yowza. Godfrey. Woo-wee. In recent Club Shay Shay news. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uncle Shay Shay, what he got going on? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I feel like every now and then we got to reach back, not reach, but oh, reach bitch. back. And uh-huh. see what's going on over on uh, Club Shay Shay because there's always something as of late, right? Yeah. Um, you know, some stuff I, I, I could do without, I won't say. <laughs> but other oh. stuff I say, oh, what's going on? And recently mm-hmm. I said, oh, what's going on? <laughs> you said it in that pitch, that tone? Yeah, for, that curiosity. <laughs> you, know, you know, when you're okay. really curious about something, your voice goes mm-hmm. up. Hey, well, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> That's how I, when I when I try new food, I'm like, mm, what's that? Let me try. I'm like, mm, what y'all got? If, if someone's <laughs> voice doesn't go up, they're they're not really curious, especially even Thank about you, you as an individual. So if they, if someone meets you, or they're told about you, and they're like, you know, oh yeah, so uh, Tierra, she, you know, da 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 da, and if that person that they're telling you doesn't go, huh, I like to know more, about, then. Because it's like, oh, okay, yeah. You are onto something, yes. So so I I like for people's voice to go up an octave when they (laughs) if they're really interested in in, and curious about me. Yeah. I don't know how we got there, but that's where we are. I don't know. (laughs) We're gonna gonna bring it back though. But the thing that recently made me go, huh, was uh the fact that uh the comedian Godfrey was recently on Club Shay Shay. Um, yeah. listen, if you are a comedian and you want a spotlight on you right now, go on Club Shay Shay, do your best to get on there. You know what I mean? Because they say, like, I think recently, um, Shannon Sharp accepted an award, uh, maybe it was an iHeart award or something like that, where, uh, I could be wrong, where, um, it was for best uh, sports podcast, and it was uh, listed as Club Shay Shay. And I was like, I don't think Club Shay Shay is just a sports podcast anymore. <laughs> no, it's entertainment all around. Entertainment, <laughs> just <laughs> the all encompassing thing. But it was like a yeah. subcategory, I guess. You know. Yeah. But um, yeah. Recently, it seems like it's just where comedians go to, you know, raise hell. Hopefully, go viral and get up through. <laughs> So yeah. I want to show you because I feel like someone like Godfrey is um is an ideal like candidate. If I was to have a like a perfect lineup of like qualifications for a guest to interview for this kind of platform that we're building, then Godfrey would fit in that. Mm-hmm. Um he's someone whose work that I have enjoyed over the years, you know, everything from him uh being like the seven up guy to you know, Hi. being in um, Fat Girls with Monique, um, his different stand-up specials. Like, I pretty much have kept up with him a, a lot of the time, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't think he gets enough, you know, like, a- attention as far as being, like, a comedian and stuff. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it is what it is. What, what are your general thoughts on Godfrey before I uh, show you this anyway? Um, same. Hilarious. When I hear the name, I'm like, oh, it's going to be a good time. We're going to laugh. And then the impressions. I know he's known for always giving a good impression. Huh. Sur- survey says. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's Steve Harvey exactly. impression. Spot on. Spot on. Like no other. <laughs> not, not, like no other. And yeah. um, it's funny that you mentioned that because Godfrey definitely took this opportunity of sitting down and talking to Shannon Sharp to... um run through as many impressions as he could. Oh Lord. <laughs> the whole time. Any, yeah. Any any story he had, any any reference he had, Godfrey mm-hmm. was like, oh I'm gonna do an impression of this, I'm gonna do an impression of that. He was putting all his all his chips on the table. But let me okay. show you this clip here because there was a particular point in the conversation. So this is another two hour interview. Okay. Oh Lord. <laughs> Lord. Shay got time. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> this is another two hour interview, but there was a particular point um where godfrey started speaking on the um 
diaspora wars, if you will, right? The things that we try to avoid, but sometimes come up. And he seems to be the perfect person to speak on the um, topic, being a, a person who has Nigerian parents, right? Mm-hmm. He grew up in the U.S. and he kind of has a different perspective. When you think of Godfrey, a lot of times you probably don't even think of him as a Nigerian or whatever, right? Because it's not in his accent. It's not, you know, particularly forward unless he starts telling you about it, which he always makes sure yeah. he tells you. I, you ain't never not met a proud Nigerian. <laughs> they will, they will These will are facts. You. But I want to show you this particular clip because he kind of gets into some of those controversial topics and then um, we'll uh, discuss. Well, Africans and African-Americans always butt heads yeah. anyway. Yeah. That would be a perfect dynamic. So I went in yeah, there. Why y'all hate us? What, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're Nigerian now. <laughs> you need to talk to them. Why y'all? Hate, why do you hate Shannon on me? For what? No, why do we? We don't hate. That's some bullshit. Nah, y'all do. Y'all be hating. No, wait a y'all minute. Y'all hating. Wait, first of all, as me being raised here, mm-hmm. me being raised here, I protect both. First of all, some Nigerians, they do sometimes, Africans in general, some of them do think they're better than African-Americans, which is bullshit. Right. Because it's not the truth, because Africans are treated like shit in Africa. Col- mm-hmm. European countries came and colonized you, treated you like shit. I mean, you go to South Africa, white people are calling themselves Africans and they don't even look it. That's some gangster shit, don't you think? Right. I'm from South Africa. <laughs> no, you're not. You're <laughs> Dutch. You just didn't know when to leave. But <laughs> African-Americans have gone through the fucking hell that they've gone through and still go through. How are you coming from that mentality and saying you thinking you better than them because you have an accent? Because for some reason, the the white society in America tends to, oh, Africa, he has an accent. It's a little different. It's like when you're British, like each of when you have a British accent yeah. and you're black. Hello. <laughs> I don't know. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Ooh, that's why mm. they get to play us. Mm. Listen, British black dudes are playing drug dealers. I thought Idris Elba was from Baltimore. <laughs> I thought he was. You know, he was like, yo, you motherfuckers don't understand. And then I'm watching BBC. You know, when I did The Wire, I studied um, the ghetto in <laughs> Baltimore. You sound like Lord Baltimore. It's <laughs> something about that. I don't know. I think it's, it's, it's just a little weird. It's like African-Americans go through hell, but everybody copies African Americans. Yeah. Right. Everybody does. All yeah. of, I've been to a lot of countries. You've been to a lot of countries. I've been to a lot. Been to a lot of countries. You haven't been to a lot of countries. You so southern. <laughs> like I mean, I'll be, you know, I'll go. I've been to a lot of states. A lot of states. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I go fishing over there. Yeah, yeah, better, so damn. And I hear my my RV. Just, yeah. <laughs> like my grandma said, man, if you ain't got nothing to do, stay where you at. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna stop there. Wait. I'm gonna stop there. Mm. And mm. <laughs> let me get your initial mm. reaction. Uh, my initial reaction is: Has Godfrey been reading our WhatsApp messages, T. Ron? Because <laughs> this is a conversation that you and I have quite often. I feel like. Yeah. Ooh. I, mm. I'm particularly. I'm not afraid of having conversations that are classified as, you know, diaspora wars or whatever. Um, Mm -hmm. As long as you find a good um, medium in the end, right? Mm -hmm. Um, Some people shy away from it or some people just don't even get involved because they feel like it's, it's pointless. Um, I think, I think that it's okay to have conversations, but we've got to get to a point where we celebrate the differences you know, we the only thing that we really have in common a lot of the times is our shared ancestry, our our shared roots um, in that way, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And that's it. And I think that that is okay. But when it comes down to this conversation, nails were hit on heads. Thanks. You know, over overall, mm-hmm. so Godfrey wasn't wasn't off track. Um. <laughs> not by, not by, not by a little bit. I know you had a, plenty of interactions with with Black British. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> I mean, just but what 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 did you think? What did you think? 
Uh, as you would say, Godfrey did not mince his words. He said it with his chest, or as the kids say, he stood on business. Mm -hmm. uh, but no, in all seriousness, there's so much validity to what he's saying. And I think people often kind of like turn a blind eye to that or, and I'm, when I say people, I mean people across the diaspora, not necessarily black Americans. Yeah. Um, people will try to say, oh no, it's just because your media is so loud. We hear your media all the time. We see your media. We've, it's been pushed on us. We've grown up watching your shows and that's why we're able to like emulate you. But I feel like it's deeper than that. I feel like it's more to it than that. And I feel like Y'all need to put some respect on us. I don't care. Like, <laughs> I'm going to say it. Well, <laughs> put some respect. I, 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 I agree. I mean, the most emulated culture is that that was birthed out of African-American culture. Right. And this is globally, by the way, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, not even just the diaspora. Not this even just. Outside the diaspora. And yeah. everything that Godfrey said here none of it was an original thought, okay? Um, he just has a funny way of saying stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And you know, it makes you laugh, which leaves an impact. But people are also going to, you know, they're going to validate what he's saying because of his background, right? Yeah. But at his core, Godfrey, I feel like sometimes forgets that, He's only as African as his his direct uh, parents, right? He didn't grow up in Nigeria. I think I think Godfrey was what was he born in? Like somewhere like Arkansas or something. I don't know why I was about to say Houston, but I don't think I, I forget for exactly. We'll go with that. I'll look but, it up. <laughs> but I, I I just I just find that. Oh, Nebraska. Nebraska. Okay. See, Ooh, yeah. Oh, see? that's America, America. See? All right. See? <laughs> but you you find you would you don't ever hear Godfrey taking up for Nebraskans. You don't ever hear him speak. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> and and to me, I feel like he got on the Club Shape Shape platform and played in our face. And, oh. and here's why. You see, Godfrey likes to do imitations, right? Mm -hmm. Likes he, you know, he does these things. But I like to rhyme. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, I like to rhyme. Hot pot. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Honey bunny, you know, stuff like that. Uh -huh. But but then I get really intricate. I get I I go you know and I find words that you don't even think would rhyme. <laughs> I'll rhyme for okay. You. you ready? What is what? Yeah. Is, actually, I want to see if you get this. What does the name Godfrey rhyme with? Godly. That's actually a really good one. And is. <laughs> But ha try this on for size. Godfrey rhymes uh -huh. with hypocrisy. Okay. Some Nigerians, they do sometimes, Africans in general, some of them do think they're better than African Americans, which is bull. It's like when you're British, like each of when you have a British accent yeah. and you're black. Peace. Now, y'all know I don't participate in the diaspora wars. But listening to comedian Godfrey talk about how Africans look down on black Americans, I gotta uh -oh. say, he might be onto something. Because it reminds me of a time when I got into it with a popular African comedian who had posted a video of themselves using a posh English accent. Clown black Americans for saying ax instead of as. Now, y'all know me. Of course, I chimed in to let him know that ax was actually correct and had been used for over 1,200 years. And at them using a posh British accent and touting their degree to clown black Americans actually placated to white supremacy. Well, the African comedian had a meltdown. They deleted all my comments to make it look like they had sunned me, then blocked me. No! Not before letting me know that he's blacker than I am, because he's 100% Nigerian. And that no matter how many dashikis I wear or that I teach at Harvard, I need to remember that he's Nigerian. And therefore intellectually superior, because he's born with academic skills. So yeah, when I listen to comedian Godfrey talk about Africans looking down on black Americans, I do think that he has a point, because that comedian that I got into it with was Godfrey. I'm tired of the word axe. It is not axe. I axed him. I had axed him. No.
whose parents are 100% Nigerian. Godfrey, on the other hand, was 100% born in Lincoln, Nebraska, raised right here in the great old U.S. Baby, <laughs> one thing about the internet, they're going we to pull you. receipts. Yikes. Godfrey. Yowza. Godfrey. Woo-wee. Godfrey, I don't think he expected the receipts to receipt the way that they receded. <laughs> no, no. Um, no. Stand in it, yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, uh, stand in now. it because okay. go ahead. Listen, not only was it laid out, Woo. we 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 saw it. It seemed it seems very convenient that you know better enough to do better when you go on to Club Shay Shay. And you know what audience is watching Club Shay Shay, right? You you know who is there. And to mm. me, it gave very much pandering. Pander. Because my thought is, who is Godfrey's audience? Who is buying Godfrey's tickets? Is it Nigerian people? Hmm. Hmm. When you think of African comedians... I don't think you think of Godfrey. At least not immediately. At least not immediately. I think that Michael Blackson even calls himself, you know, the king of African comedy, even though, <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah, this ain't about him. It's not yes. about him. But, but, but my point is you would think of him way before you Absolutely. think of Godfrey. Absolutely. Um, Godfrey's peers often when you see him with people are black Americans. What I, mm -hmm. my point is he knows better. And mm. if you know better, you should always do better. Right. So yeah. that same thing you just mentioned that Nigerians do or other Africans do to black Americans. It seems like you pulled it out when it's convenient or when you need it you know what i mean so i just wanted to point that out and uh yeah thoughts i mean <laughs> i don't want to talk about godfrey no more he hurt my feelings you know this just brought me down uh.